you've been to church any time in the last few years, you've heard during the prayers that people us pray for our anchorite named Hal. A number of you have asked, what is an anchorite? And I thought, uh, it's a worthy topic for our uh, All Saints FAQs. An anchorite is a person who makes religious vows, dedicates their life to God, and has a long and um, well-marked history. The most famous anchorite of all would, have been, would be Julian of Norwich, who lived um, roughly um, 700 years ago. She, uh, she was quite literally uh, tied to a church. She anchored herself there. She, was, she lived in a one-room um, dwelling that was literally part of the fabric of the church. She was in Norwich, England, and she had two windows. She could not leave the room. She had two windows, one that opened into the church so that she could take part in the Eucharist, and one that opened up to the street so that people who needed spiritual direction or wanted someone to pray for them could come and talk to her. In this modern age, anchorites won't do that, and there aren't a lot of anchorites. In fact, uh, it may be possible that we are the only parish in the Anglican Communion right now with an anchorite, although that's not been verified. But Hal Carter, a member of our congregation, wanted to dedicate his life to prayer, but wanted to remain a part, active part of a faith community and did not want to go off and join a monastery, nor did he want to live a life of isolation, which would have made him a hermit. And so, working with the Bishop of Utah at the time, and with me as his rector, uh, he came up with a rule of life, and was re was uh, that rule of life was acknowledged and received by the bishop, and he was set apart for religious service, for religious life. He made vows, um, and then three years later, he made vows for a short period of time, and then three years later, he made life vows. So, an anchorite in our context, Hal, our anchorite, is a person who is a member of our congregation, who lives a, a relatively solitary life, but tied to our congregation. He prays for all of us on a daily basis. He prays especially for those who have asked for prayers, and he makes himself available for anyone who is looking for someone to have spiritual conversation with, uh, other than a member of the clergy. So I hope that answers your question. That's what an anchorite is.